Okay, this is one more plug for this set of videos that uh, you should be able to get. These are actually not bad. They're real short, concise, and they get you pretty far. I feel bad for making it so long and drawn out, but the sense of trying to do it also to DOT standards, um, your intent here is that you can kind of get a project start to finish, not thoughtful, but, cr but uh, correct within Civil 3D within about 20 minutes. That's the reality. I'm just telling you the truth. So, And we're going to work towards that. So I'm going to close this up and we're going to make a new project because I want to show you um, one more time these the importance of these uh, that uh, point filters. Well, as we go ahead and make another tin this time, instead of making it real simple, we're going to actually make it along the roadways, along the edges, more correct. So again, as always, we start with a new, or not as always, but we start with a new drawing basically right going out to a known place for the template and the known place on my home machine is a little different yours should just come up wherever you are I think I'm here I think I'm in documents and in the Wisconsin DOT set I'm gonna go ahead and use this one though later on you're gonna see that there's also an existing topography drawing it's a DWG that they're providing however so I'm gonna open that up Hit cancel because it's looking for a font file. I close this out. Closing out drawing one. There goes my drawing. Oh, I'm going to get rid of drawing one. We're in drawing two right away. Say file, save as. Okay, drawing sticking in a place you know. put mine down in a new folder. Don't want that. New folder 2. Got to rename the folder obviously and down here I'm going to go start here with October 5. OCT 5A. Okay. Saving that drawing. Start with the cadastral or in Espanol I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but you'll see the video talking about, you'll hear the word cadastro come up all around the world. It's a big deal. We have good title deed to our land. We have good land records. Other places do not. Land wealth is the wealth of most of the world. So I'm going to draw now a line. Oh, we lost our command window. So what is the command? Well, probably helps to do that. Helps to turn on your keyboard. It's a recurring thing here with me. The command is command line. So I'm going to type here with a dynamic on. Hopefully. Command line. And what is the command for toolbars? Minus toolbar. And I'm going to say, in this case, I'm going to bring up the view toolbar. Show it. There it is. Draft a line. From our quintessential starting point. Well, I'll just show you with the dynamic on that it can be done. First point, easting, 2 million. Northing, 200,000. And then if I type in at here, I'm still okay. At 5280, angle 0. It should work. Zoom extents. There's the line. So you just have to check. So it does work with the dynamic on. I'm still telling most students it's hard for you to manage it. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go ahead and do the section two over. So I'm going to click this. Left click. Spacebar. At 5280. Angle zero. Do it again left click spacebar spacebar at 5280 angle 0 so I've got my cadastral map zoom E that's the section I'm going to be drafting offset 5280 line from the endpoint you notice I'm typing it obviously you can put your snaps on however you care O T for through the endpoint. Now there's all kinds of things you can do 
but I'm gonna ignore this, not, assume these are not cadastrals right now, I'm gonna go all of a sudden decide and start another layer if I want one in my head and now just break them. So break here, F for first point, shift right click, the midpoint of that, at, remember is the last point, so I've broken this up into two pieces. You can see me, I could either use the point filters, or in this case I'm just going to move the ends in a little bit. Let's do the same thing. I'm lazy in this case, so I'm just going to go ahead and erase that. Double click, or select these, left click, spacebar, move to the end point here. Forgot to do the copy, spacebar, undo, click, click, spacebar, I'm sorry, left click, spacebar, C for copy, at 5280, angle 180. Erase these if I might. Let me just start with these two here. I've got now a couple I can, these are lines, and I can then start to think in my head, well, Along any roadway, we've got a number of brake lines, and typically they're pretty standard if it's well designed. You know that if it's a 12, 24 foot wide road, that the right edge of pavement might be about 0.24 less. The If it's a 4 foot shoulder, gravel shoulder, that might be 0.16 less. The ditch might be 3 foot less and a few over. So let's look at how you can do that using point filters. So I'm going to now go ahead and just put myself on existing there's all your existing I'm going to try to go existing surface here on that layer I'm just going to say line shift right click dot xy of the end of that I need a Z, I'm going to still make that a thousand. To the shift, right click dot XY, shift right click the end point of that. And my Z, I went down 2640, right? 2640 at 1%, 26 stations at 2% would be down 52, I'll just make it 900. Dot XY of the end of that needs Z I'll make that 1100 I'm sorry 1050 now what I've got here just so you can see is I've got a set of 3D lines I can click on them and then type LI for list and you see that those lines are actually 3D lines that more I can make a, make a tin out of them now Avoid the offset. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy and move them over to the right. Move them over and down in terms of 3D elevation. I'm going to left click, left click, left click, spacebar, C for copy, at 12, comma, 0, comma, minus 0.24 how'll it work yeah there you go got them so I'm gonna make, go ahead and move this next one next set see it gets a little tough now again I can grab anywhere I want in there because I'm just grabbing gonna left click move I'm sorry C for copy at 4 comma zero comma minus point one six and running out of time here so I'm going to do the same thing and move it out ten feet and down three assuming I've got a ditch left click spacebar C for copy at ten comma zero comma minus two I now have three sets of four sets of brake lines if we call them that, change the slope and change the grade. We can now do that all the way around and make a tin. 
We'll pick this up in a second.